The world of work is changing. Digitization and automation are modifying jobs. Global climate change is making us rethink the world of work and training. This also affects Sarah. Sarah is a car mechatronics trainee in a partner country of German development cooperation. For her and many others at both small and large companies, day-to-day -day work will change drastically over the coming years. More and more jobs will be assigned via online platforms. Smartphones will be used to maintain contact with customers. Being skilled in the use of digital tools is essential. New specialist knowledge, critical thinking, creativity and collaborative capabilities are also necessary, as is regular further training. The program for the promotion of vocational education and training in Namibia works closely together with industry. Aspiring mechatronics acquire revised qualifications and up-to-date knowledge. This ensures they are better prepared for the demands of the automotive industry. Thanks to digital technologies, Sarah can keep in touch with teachers and fellow students. She can also access digital learning materials. This perfectly complements the teaching at the vocational school. And Sarah is not the only one to benefit from this. However, there is a digital divide across the world. Not everyone has access to new technologies. Reasons for this include unequal opportunities due to age, gender and economic and social conditions. Atingi, the digital learning platform of German Development Cooperation, provides digital learning materials, including from the field of vocational education and training. Young people from the Global South are able to make use of the knowledge and educational services made available by Atingi at any time, free of charge and regardless of location. Digital technologies help us deal with complex issues. Theoretically, digital tools can be used to help include everyone in the new world of work. In practice, however, there are major differences in access to digital technologies and to the digital skills needed to use them. Women are particularly disadvantaged in this respect. Innovation hubs in Iraq offer young people opportunities in the field of information and communication technologies. Refugees and displaced persons, including women, are among the hackathon and programming course participants preparing for careers as entrepreneurs and getting ready to set up their own digital startups. Trainers and teachers at vocational schools need to stay informed. Only if they are aware of the demands of the future can they educate themselves further in the field and pass on their knowledge. To do this, they need to be able to convey educational and training content in a practical way, motivate students for independent learning, and have digital skills. This is only possible if they continue their own training regularly. In the Youth, Employment and Skills Project in Kosovo, a focal point is the further training of teachers and trainers in the fields of mechatronics engineering, construction and metalworking. This also includes the modernization of teaching through e-learning, blended learning formats and project work. The private sector plays an important role to help gear vocational training in the partner countries of German development cooperation to the needs of the labor market. The interlinking of school and occupational learning increases the quality of vocational training. The enhancement of the Egyptian dual system project prepares young people in Egypt for the needs of the labor market. Together with various partners, such as companies and educational institutions, and with support from German Development Cooperation, selected training occupations were adapted to the requirements of the digitalized world of work. Only when vocational education and training takes new qualification requirements into consideration, enables use of digital technologies, provides further training for teachers and trainers, and incorporates the private sector. Can it prepare young people for the world of work, today and in the future?